you know, sometimes I look back at Nickelodeon or Disney Channel and I'm like, what happened? If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming back with a new topic, a new video. And this topic is going to be about the downfall of children slash teen TV. And I've been thinking about this for a while. And shout out to MD4705, they gave me an idea for this video. And I've been, I like, I've been thinking about this for a while because I'm like, the new content, the new shows that they're making now, not all of them. The majority of them are just really whack. It's trash. It's cheesy. It's corny. It's cringeworthy. And I'm just like, I come from the Hey Arnold era. You see what I'm saying? I come from the era of waking up early in the morning, watching those early Nicktoons. Before I go to school, you know what I'm saying? Hey Arnold, Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents. Sometimes they would show like Drake and Jar, like all those different type of shows. And now I look at it now, I'm like, y'all ever seen the animation they have out now? They all have the same look, that same basic style. It's almost like a mind warp to see where cartoons and the children and teen content went to. I'm thinking about this for a while because right now I feel like I'm in that middle generation. I'm 25, right? So I feel like I'm right in the middle. Like I grew up with the late 90s, 2000 shows, all the way into like the, you know, like that mid 2000 era. So there's a lot of shows from the different eras that I've watched and I grew to love and I got those nostalgic memories of watching. But then suddenly like you ever go back to Disney Channel right now or Nickelodeon right now and you just see what kind of shows they showing, what kind of animation they showing, what kind of movies they showing and you just be like what the happened like and here's the thing right i get it people say oh it's a new generation and you know it's not gonna 20 years ago people that was my age in 2006 was probably like what happened to tv that's what i'm doing right now it didn't really hit me until you go on hulu and you see all the classics all the classics i was just talking about you hey arnold danny phantom jimmy neutron fairly all parents or even like Drake and Josh, iCarly. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else? You know, my life as a teenage robot. Like, all those different type of shows. Cartoon Network is another one where it's like Dexter Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. All those different type of shows. And you look at the content now, you're just like, wow. And you might think like, okay, you in your 20s, 30s, why you still care? But it's just like, it's a generational thing to just sit and watch how far... TV animation has progressed and you just be like another example is when Netflix you know how Netflix had like that the whole thing where they added Moesha one on one and girlfriends all those different type of shows I was young but I still watched it especially one on one because that was more my range where I could like actually remember watching it on TV but you just look at it you'd be like wow shows like Moesha one on one the Parkers though that was nice it was family shows but it was still shows that you could watch like as a teen growing up and it had all these different type of topics in them. And it's like, whatever happened to that? UPN. That whole era of those black shows that was relatable, that disappeared, you know? Now it's just like the same cheesy, corny shows. You might have that one token black character or if it's a black show, it's about, you know, like blackish grownish all those different type of things or it's about like black lightning it's a superhero show that's another thing with nickelodeon you go on nickelodeon they used to have all those nice shows like drake and josh iCarly, you know true jackson vp all those different type of shows all that sketch comedy now every other show is about like a superhero or a crazy family i can it's like what where did where did the ideas go to it's like the people in the ballroom, like how did these ideas get past the ballroom? Y'all greenlit these ideas, y'all cast people for them, y'all had people audition for them. I just think I'm like, imagine all the diverse ideas that didn't get it past the ballroom, but y'all put in like three different shows about a superhero family on, like, and I knew it was something when it was like a few years ago, maybe two, three years ago, I was like in the hospital visiting somebody, right? And you know how you wait in the waiting area and they have, they have the TV on for you to watch in the waiting area with the vending machines? And I was like sitting there with my mother, right? 
And one of the nurses, I guess she had just finished her shift, she went to the vending machine to get something. And I turned to my mother and I was watching, I think it was a show called Henry Danger on Nickelodeon. And I was like, Ma, I was like, Ma, these shows are just so, they, like, these shows are trash now. And my mother was like, mm, I don't know what this is. And even the nurse, she was getting something out of the vending machine. She turned and she looked, she was like, she was like, yeah, I don't know what happened. My kids don't even like these shows. And I was like, that's when it really hit me. I'm like, wow. And that's not to say that, you know, obviously, these kids are watching the shows because, you know, they kept making new seasons. But it's like, you know, people turn, parents and children turn to Nickelodeon and Disney and Cartoon Network to provide that entertainment. You want to just sit there and watch the show. You see what they got. But it's like, no, compared to that era of like the Drake and Josh, I Carly, that era to what they showing now, it's just like, it's really, it's mediocre to me. It's really mediocre, really try hard, cringeworthy, and no, no. Another thing, let's talk about animation. Animation, like we had shows like The Proud Family, right? That was one of my favorite shows growing up. I still, like, when that show came on Disney Plus, when they put it on Disney Plus, I spent weeks watching it and rewatching it because you just get to fall in love with the show. You get to catch the jokes that you didn't get when you were younger. Now that you're older, you watch these shows back, you get to catch all the jokes and all the innuendos that you never really noticed before. And it's just like, wow, what happened? Like, and then you see all the same shows now, they have that same basic animation. Almost like that, like Loud House, where it's like that over exaggerated drawn thing, or almost like in a style of like Family Guy. And you know what I really noticed? How animation was really changing. When you know how Scooby Doo been around for like 50 years, right? And they, and they had different versions of it, different animations of it. But when Scooby Doo looked like this, that's when I was like, this is going to the dumps. <laughs> like, y'all got Scooby Doo, the classic Scooby Doo. Y'all got it looking like that? No. Another thing is Arthur. Y'all know Arthur, everybody around my age who's 25, even if he was older, you grew up watching Arthur on PBS. You know, that was like those free channels or whatever. And Arthur had, I love that classic drawn animation. And I love the stories they told. It was relatable, it was nice to watch. It was just a nice feeling to sit down and watch an episode of After. It was just enjoyable. And another thing I liked about After was that classic animation it had. And I get it, times progress. And using a computer, that flash animation is easier. But have you ever watched the latest episodes of After? And y'all see, look how After used to look. Now look at it now. You might not be able to tell the difference between those two pictures, but the latest versions of After look like a computer game. Like that flash animation, like the way they walk, they walk real wonky. Like that classic drawing animation had a nice feel to it, it had a nice touch to it, and it was like pleasing to the eye. This new After, they walk across the screen like this. Like they trying to walk, but they walking like this. Like real computer game-ish. And it's like, no. I still watch it because, you know, I grew up with Arthur. But I'm like, no, this is <laughs> this is not no, no. Back to Disney Channel. You have shows like That's So Raven, uh, Hannah Montana, even Stevens, Lizzie McGuire, Ant Farm. That was towards the later years, but you had Ant Farm, you had Shake It Up, you had all those different type of shows that was still enjoyable, you know? Even as I was like, I wasn't a little kid no more, I wasn't seven, eight, nine, or ten. You still going through high school. There was some times when I would still go back and watch Nickelodeon or watch Disney Channel just to see what it was. And I did find some of the shows enjoyable. But now it's like, yeah, watch some of these shows on Disney Channel. They're just trash. It's trash. It's trash. And I'm like, how the f did this make it past the boardroom? How did this make it past somebody's presentation in a ballroom? Like, to greenlit the show, cast people for it, pilot it, and just air it? Like, how did this get past pre-production? <laughs> like, really, really. 
Look at some of the shows they got. It's no. And another thing is, this is another reason why it's that nostalgic feeling. They doing a lot of reboots. A lot of people are like, why are they doing reboots? Why are they doing reboots? Leave the shows alone. They know how much people miss those type of shows. They know how much people miss the nostalgia. So that's why they bringing it back. You see, they got Raven's Home, where not Raven is and Raven and Chelsea are adults now. They got their own kids, and now one of Raven's kids got visions and all that. That show was enjoyable. It was enjoyable, but now, as you can see, the kids are getting older. It's becoming like a little trash now. But when it first came out, I liked it. Or you see, they doing the Proud Family reboot because that's that animation we a lot of us grew up loving and liking. So now they, you know, Disney caught on to it, and they're like, okay, now we need another season of that, the new updated version. Or it's a lot of different shows doing reboots and stuff because they know. They know that they shows they got now are trash, so they trying to get that audience, join a new audience, but get that classic audience to be like, look, y'all remember this show we all liked back in the day? It's coming back. It's almost the same as music. Y'all know how music, you know how a lot of people say, oh, the 90s was better, early 2000s was better, and people, some people, the newer generation, or oh, some people are like, oh, that was 20 years ago, let it go, it's over. Oh, it's a new generation. It is what it is. But when a new artist samples a 90s song or early 2000s song, and all of a sudden it blows up, it becomes big, it becomes a challenge. Y'all know people dancing all over to the song on TikTok. And now people discover the new love for the song that was real popular 15, 20 years ago. That's because it's that nostalgia. You know, everybody can say, oh, it's been 20 years, it's a new generation. But some things will never be the same like the classics and that goes with animation children and teen tv you know what i'm saying all these shows we grow up watching and you just look at to where it came it's like wow this is really the downfall of children in teen tv like really really like and you know we have netflix we have hulu we have amazon prime and they have their own original content and sometimes they post they have the shows that I'm talking about like they have the old shows that we like growing up but it's like it's not the same right y'all know what I'm saying like some of y'all know what I'm saying it's just not that same feeling like when you will come home from work or school and just watch these shows or watch them on the weekend while you just lounging around your house it's not the same but I'm interested to see where TV and everything like that is going to go in the future. Like, will shows get better or will they gradually get worse like they are? Now, like I said, there are some great shows out there. Everybody has their own tastes, right? There are some great shows out there. But it's like you got to weed through the whack ones to find them, you know? So anyways, guys, that was just my video for today about the downfall of children slash teen TV and how... Basically, how watered down it became and how it downgraded from that original feeling they used to give us. People in my generation, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you're born in the 90s, early 2000s. Y'all know. Y'all know. So, let me know, guys, down below in the comments. What is y'all guys' take on this? Do y'all feel the same way I do about how, you know, this TV in general, the shows that's produced for children and teens, tweens, or young adults... It has become worse over time. And if you don't think so, what are your favorite shows out now? And what were your favorite shows back in the day? I'm talking about animation, children's TV, you know, the sitcoms like Moesha, One on One. Like, what were your favorite shows back in the day from Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney? Let me know down below. This should be a really fun and interesting discussion. And I can't wait to interact with y'all. So anyways, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.